Hi, this is Jake Nonamaker with Axicom. I just want to show you what a crypto virus looks like. Now, usually crypto viruses are delivered through a phishing email, which may have a link to a website, or it may have a, an attachment which contains the virus payload. And in this example, I have an email with a Word document, which has a macro that's going to run and infect the computer with the crypto virus. All right, so let's just look at this email really quick. Uh, we the subject here says forward crypto locker email. Uh, we for, we got that forwarded from a customer. So what we did is we uh, just flagged it with this um, crypto locker email just so that we know you know beware of this thing. But originally the uh, email said forward invoice 2016 blah blah blah. It came from Kath Catherine Wilson. And here's her email address, and I do not know who this person is. We don't know, we don't do business with this company. So it just came randomly to our um, to our to somebody's inbox in our business. And it says, please find attached two invoices for processing. Yours sincerely, Catherine Wilson, financial manager. Uh, this email has been scanned by semantic email security dot cloud service. Okay, so a couple points that make this email suspicious. One is we don't do business with this company, uh, but if you're part of a larger company, uh, you may not know exactly every vendor you're doing uh, business with, so it's better to ask if you get something like this. You know, Just don't randomly be opening up emails. The other thing that makes this suspicious is it says uh, this email has been scanned by semantic email security dot cloud service, which is I, I'm not sure if that's even a product that Symantec makes, but they're mixing the capitalization here, which uh, usually is an indicator of um, of a viral email or a virus email. So uh, this email would normally be caught in a in a antivirus system or an uh, email security system if the email security system is aware of this particular virus. So in this case uh, our uh, the systems in place did not pick it up it passed it on through so the user gets this and I'll show you what happens when you double click on it just so you know what happens when uh, and what to be aware of. So I went ahead and downloaded the document already and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and it's gonna launch Word and as I said prior, this is a, uh, it contains a macro, which if you run the macro, it will infect the computer. By default, Microsoft Windows does not run macros. It's uh, part of their security system. They uh, don't, will not run it. What they do is they prompt you, uh, or they put this in a, in a protected view, it's called, and it prompts you to enable editing. So the message says, be careful. Files from the internet can contain viruses. Unless you need to edit, it's safer to stay in protected view. So if this is an invoice, if it was supposed to be an invoice, you would still be able to see the invoice. So right here, this is saying that this is a macro. It has active content. And if I click this button, it will infect my computer. All right, so this text in here is from the virus writer, the author of the virus. It says this file, so again, they're kind of telling you, hey, look, it's safe. This file is protected by Microsoft Office. Please enable editing and content to see this document. Can't view the document? Follow the steps below. So now they're giving you instructions on how to enable the content. In other words, how to activate the macro, which will infect your computer. And basically what it says is click this button, enable editing. So if I click that button, what the cryptovirus is going to do is going to go through my computer and encrypt all the documents, the Word documents, Excel, PDFs, JPEGs, and others. It's going to encrypt it and then it's going to demand a ransom to uh, for me to get the key to decrypt them. So if I go ahead and click that button, all my documents will be locked and I'm going to have to restore from backup or I'm going to have to pay the ransom, which I don't want to do. So that's it. Just want to make sure that you're aware because uh, a big uh, bat, a big fight uh, in the this battle is knowing um, what to look for and being aware of the different kinds of emails and phishing and the attacks that are occurring to protect your. So you, if you, as long as you know that, you're one step ahead of the game. You can protect yourself 
and be aware that this sort of thing uh, is out there and can infect you. So uh, just be really careful with the emails that are coming through and be very suspicious as ever, of everyone. It's better to make a, a phone call and ask you know, if the sender sent, um, meant to send you an email and you know, it's going to save you hours and hours and you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars of anguish. All right, well, thanks for, uh, for watching.